know that during your time at Life Fest, one of your favorite moments was spending time with a truly remarkable woman. Mm, you're right. This is a woman with many modern accomplishments who at the same time is truly in touch with her culture's ancient wisdom. Elizabeth Kapu Alani Lindsay is a cultural anthropologist, writer, filmmaker, actress, and former Miss Hawaii. She was raised by native Hawaiian elders and is the great granddaughter of a Hawaiian chief. Our elders have prophesied, as have many native cultures, that at the turn of this new dawn, which we interpret to be the 21st century, the world would be in crisis. And it would require the wisdom from the far reaches of the world, from native cultures, to remind us again who we really are. And remembering is important. And what I speak to is the fact that in this technological age, we're bloated with information, yet we're starved for wisdom. And our deepest yearning is to find one another again, is to create community where we can sit around a metaphoric campfire and listen to one another's stories, and thereby building bridges of this great compassion. And when we do, when we can hear another's voice with an open heart, war is not possible. We couldn't fathom killing one another when we can actually listen to their stories and know where they hurt. And we can be heard. Part of the prophecy, too, that it would take women who remember their spirits again to call the world back into balance. This is part of our kuleana, our responsibility as women. And the men understand their woundedness, and they're hurting in places that we can't possibly understand. So when we hold men with a compassionate heart, knowing that they have tried their best but it hasn't worked. This form of aggression does not work. We see it environmentally, we see it throughout the world on so many levels that we need to come back to this wisdom. You know, so what we see is this decline in dominance but this rise in influence. And that's part of what women will bring to the table. This is not about being in Hawaii where it's more tranquil or lovely and more conducive. But what it means is that we find a quiet place in our lives, in our days, in those moments where we go home to ourselves. And, and for me, wherever I am in the world, it doesn't matter. I use the ocean as a metaphor of returning to the womb and dropping deep into a silent place. So what I would ask your audience to do is go to that place of silence, whatever that means for them where they can become still again to remember. We're moving at unnatural rhythms right now, so we have to find those places where we can become still again and quiet and we can hear once more. It is our responsibility, we're absolutely responsible to the children and their, their children to leave this world well and healthy for them. What we believe is that wherever we are, our ancestors, those who have gone before us, are always beside us that the veil is thin and we're never walking alone. So in relationship to your audience, we are never walking this path alone. We never, I never bear an arrogance to think that I am doing this by myself. So my prayer always becomes to those who have gone before me, I dedicate this work to their wisdom that is always serving as a guiding light for me. I honor them and I do it because I know that I am a bridge between those who have gone before me and those who will follow. And I am responsible to make sure that I leave this world as best I can to those generations who will follow after me. Elizabeth's comments remind us of the importance of our connection to the generations that preceded us and the importance of our actions today on the generations to come. Well, honoring our connection to the earth, ocean, and sky was how we began our experience on Maui. That connection with nature is a fundamental theme of Healing Quest.